If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. If you are required to collect sales tax from customers, you must also make periodic payments of the sales tax you have collected to the appropriate taxing authorities. QuickBooks gives you three ways to view the amount of your sales tax liability. You can use either the Sales Tax Liability Report, the Sales Tax Payable Register, or the Pay Sales Tax Window to view your sales tax liability amounts. In addition to this basic information, you also have two sales tax reports you can use to show information about the sales tax owed. The Sales Tax Liability Report provides complete information about the sales tax your company owes for a specified time period. It will show for the date range selected the total taxable sales, total non-taxable sales, and the total amount of sales tax owed to each taxing agency. QuickBooks displays your sales tax liability report on an accrual basis unless you have changed the default setting in the Sales Tax category within the Preferences window. To view the Sales Tax Liability Report, select either Reports, Vendors and Payables, Sales Tax Liability, or Vendors, Sales Tax, Sales Tax Liability from the menu bar to open the report. Another report that can be useful when dealing with sales tax is the Sales Tax Revenue Summary Report which shows where your sales tax revenue is coming from. It shows the sources of all taxable and non-taxable transactions broken down by individual sales tax codes. You can view this report by selecting either Reports, Vendors and Payables, Sales Tax Revenue Summary, or Vendors, Sales Tax, Sales Tax Revenue Summary from the menu bar. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.